Doxing is a form of cyberbullying that uses sensitive or secret information, statements, or records to harass, expose, financially harm, or exploit the victim. This involves taking specific information about someone and then spreading it around social media. Basically, publicly exposing someone's real name, address, job, or other identifying information without their consent. You may ask, why would someone dox another person? Well, generally speaking, doxing is just to humiliate, bully, harass, shame, or harm a person in some way. Here's an example. Quaya says, she really a joke, the owner of this page, for real. Women be wrong, but the way she be doing is corny. I feel like she want D and approval from every man in the world, LOL, to feel like somebody. She go on to say, I wonder if her mouth match her hands when it comes to attention seeking and trying to blast people, LOL. Now you tell me what would you do in this case? Would you ignore it, delete their comment, entertain them by responding, block them, or dox them to humiliate them? Real detectives and investigators with integrity and something to lose, they don't run a social media to post someone's personal information. Anyone who posts someone else's personal details on social media is doing it strictly for clout, clicks, likes, and views. Now, if they are a narcissist, people praising them, calling them a hero, etc., is just as good as money so the more you celebrate someone else's pain the more they will do it they may even make up stories to get that narcissistic supply anyway so apparently someone came unhinged and invested a lot of time into responding to Quaya in a post after they blocked her. The post read, again, if you're going to disagree with me, don't insult me. Remember the job you have at FedEx. Remember your kids and your criminal record before you come for me. It's not worth it, ladies. I never insult people or talk down on them. I hold them accountable. I could have easily called this individual's job. Instead, I wanted to do a tribute. You can have a fake name, fake Facebook link, and I will still figure out who you are. You can say my posts are fake or my investigation skills are fake. I will continue to expose you one post at a time. I had the time today. Have a good evening and remember to watch what you say on this app. If you need coaching on your attitude, ladies, I'm free. Inbox me. And they included Quaya's criminal record. I covered the sensitive information, but we all know what information is being exposed here. They took time to circle each offense. Now, was all of this a necessary response to a comment, even an insult? 
Does the punishment fit the crime? Quaya had no idea that all of this had happened because that content creator blocked her. She was informed by a few of her supporters in the comments on one of her posts that same day. So someone had made a post, um, the actual uh, first post was someone posting the live stream that apparently this the content creator who blocked Quaya, they went live on YouTube talking about this, those two little comments that Quaya made under, the, under their post. They said, oh, you definitely about to go viral now. That queen uh, dragged you. And I will say that Quaya was a good sport. She didn't let it get to her. I'm not going to read all the comments, but I will let them show on the screen for your entertainment. Now here, Quaya says, I know, man, she blocked me, though, and reported my page. LOL. She chose her battle wisely. I would have never seen it if you good folks ain't come in and post it. LOL. She big mad. She made a YouTube just for me. Tell her thanks. You know, the response that says she's a blogger that blocks people for disagreeing with her content and deletes comments that don't align with her opinions. Like why block someone and then make a video knowing they can't respond? That's corny. Another comment says, yeah, she petty like that. And the people that applaud her behavior are no better. I thought she was nice when I first met her. Man, was I wrong. I never knew she was so hateful and mean-spirited. I had reached out to you yesterday to give you a heads up. Glad you're being a good sport about it. She did all of that for what, though? All because you didn't agree with her and spoke your mind she goes out her way to show how vindictive she really is she talks reckless to people and the moment you don't agree she wants to threaten your job and make videos I stopped following that chick months ago. Quail responded, LOL, man, she only know I work there because of my page. Bitch don't know shit about me, literally, LOL. And she can't do shit about my job because of my comment on Facebook. Valencia replied, she blocked me a while back all because I didn't agree with her and I agreed with someone else's comment instead. Like, grow the F up. Makima says, nothing you said warns your job being contacted. She's going to play the game with the wrong person. Quail said, I didn't see you reach out. And believe me, I don't give a F. She a weak B. I hit her nerve. LOL. She went down my page for hours for information. She was hurt. The video was weak. She said I had kids. I didn't even know that about myself. She a little girl for real behind a phone screen looking for attention from men for real. LOL. McKimia says she expects everybody to deride like the rest of her followers.
prime example why everyone doesn't need a platform. Wait, so you don't have even have children? Yeah, I got a warrant. I ain't even know that either. LOL, she can try though. What can she say? B don't even know my real name. Valencia replied, I had inboxed you. It might be in your filter message folder. And yeah, I believe it's for clout and attention. The crazy part is she got a husband. So why do all that? Quayle said, she don't know ish, but what I was posting on here. Wait, you don't have kids for real? Never been arrested? I had a feeling all along she'd be lying in her posts. All her content is staged. I looked some of her, those screenshots she posted of text conversations and it just didn't make sense. Quayle says, nah, I don't got kids. And yeah, I've been to jail, LOL, but she only know because she went down my page for hours and I was posting about it, LOL. Makima says, all that searching over a comment, she not ready for millions of followers, LOL. Quayle says, exactly, why she blocked me though? I could have entertained her, LOL. Valencia responds, for her to block you and do this shows that she the type to throw rocks and hide her hands. Lauren says, I've been saying this. Her screenshots be fake AF. The font be way off, LOL. Valencia says, a lot of that crap looks staged. Just like the post she allegedly found in other groups. Like, come on now, shorty, stop the cap. You're, make, you're making yourself look crazy online. <laughs> Lauren says, right. Like that time she threatened to call someone's caseworker if she didn't write her an essay. Man, I would have gave Daphne my whole Ada kiss. I know damn well that didn't happen. Flinch just says, wait, y'all. It's been time she posted telling people that if they don't apologize, she going to call their job or caseworker and have their kids taken away or have them fired. That's why I feel a lot of it's cap and staged because who in their right mind finna let some stranger online blackmail them and bully them like that? Lauren says, yes. And you notice how she always quote unquote inboxing their boyfriends and baby daddies and they never question who she is. My husband would have been like the elf or you. <laughs> and she always uses double question marks in her screenshots. Apparently everyone types the same way, LOL. At least Quaya found humor in this and didn't let this upset her too bad. We had a, a quick conversation. The next time you decide to dock someone, be sure to put your information besides theirs so we can all have a laugh. It's funny until it's you. This is Gail at Night. Thank you all for watching and thank you for supporting. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe. Get the notification bell and set the bell to all.